Hello, it is Wednesday. I have been quite busy this week between working on t-shirt things that I wanted to do, which I will show you in just a second, and also with editing and filming and all sorts of other fun stuff. Last vlog, I talked about potentially like thinking about starting up an Etsy shop, and I made a couple shirts to have for designs to put up, but these are a couple of the shirts that I've made for design so far. So this is the first one, and it's home is where the dog fur is, uh, just simple <laughs> cat hair on it currently. Very simple, and then on the sleeve, each sleeve actually has it, there is like a metallic bronze paw print, which is really fun. So I have those, I'm going to make another one that's essentially the same thing, but it's home is where the cat fur is, and it's going to have two smaller paws like that on each sleeve. And then I have this one, which is really simple. I'm not a big fan of white shirts, but I mean, people like white shirts. So it's just simple mouse ears that say home away from home. It's simple, but it's just up in the corner. So it's just a white shirt. You can style it a bunch of ways. And then the last one is actually gonna be customizable. So this is the back of the shirt and it says home is where the heart is. And then the front is where the customization comes in because you will be able to then choose whichever one of the 50 states you want. And you can also then pick the city or town in that state. And I will put on the state and then also put a little pink heart where that city is. So my hometown is Mendota, Illinois, and Mendota is right about there. So that's where I put the little heart. So I think that would be really cool because then you can do whichever state and city that you want and the heart will actually be there. It won't just be like in the middle of the state. But that was kind of fun. So those are the three, technically four designs that I have so far. I want to add a lot more, but I'm just kind of waiting until I have the time to sit down and kind of like work out some more designs. I want to add more Disney inspired clothing. I want to do uh, maybe mugs eventually. I don't want to offer too much right off the bat and then not be able to keep up with it. And I also don't want to offer so little that nobody's interested in any. There's a lot that goes into starting an Etsy shop and I'm realizing there's a lot that goes into it. So all of that to say, that's what I've been working on the last few days. I did get to try out those pillows that I got that I showed in last week's vlog for the heat press and they work fantastically. I am very happy I got them and I'm already learning how to use my heat press better than what I was in the past, which is also very exciting. So I'm going to be working on editing, I think the rest of today. Dan is starting to film videos to post for our church's YouTube page where they do kind of a, like a daily devotional every single day and that they post or most of the days, I think. It's kind of a newer thing, so I'm not exactly sure. Dan is taking over Thursdays for that, and tomorrow is the first day he has to post a video, so he filmed that yesterday and I edited that. So that'll be going up tomorrow, which it'll already be up. I will leave a link to that YouTube channel in the description if you wanted to look at it. He is posting, uh, his best friend Jesse, who is the pastor of our church, is posting. Uh, and then two other members, Garrett, who is kind of also a leader of the church, and Gran, who is sort of like running the YouTube channel, is also posting on there. So, and it's kind of, I think it's like a rotation of them posting throughout the weeks. And every single day there is a new devotional. Uh, I think they're, fo they're following like a reading plan through the Bible in a year. So sometimes, the, some days they will focus on one chapter, some days they will focus on two chapters. That'll be something that'll be up constantly. So if you wanted to look at that, follow along with that. It's just sort of like reading daily devotions. You can go ahead and do that. Hello all, on today's agenda, Dan and I are out and about doing some errands. We had to get the oil in the car changed. So we got that taken care of. And we are also then uh, wanting to go to thrift store because we haven't been in a long time. But we are currently on sort of a detour side quest trip thing, I guess, to a music store because Dan's friend, Jesse, had told him about this music store that was in the area that had this really nice drum set for a really good price. And it's been there for a while and his friend just went today and checked and texted Dan with a picture of it. And he's like, hey, it's still here. 
And so Dan and I were like, we're already in this area. Let's go the extra, I think it's like a half an hour away and go to this music store and see this, look at it. Maybe Dan will play it and see about getting it because Dan has not had a brand new drum set in a very long time. And it is something we have been saving for potentially getting. comfortably down there we got the drum set I also bought a 12 string guitar not for me though I bought it for my mom I was messaging with her and talking to her and was showing her pictures of it because it is very beautiful and it's small so it's not like massive I was playing around with it a little bit and she asked me to get it and she would just pay me back so yeah but it's sitting like between my legs in the front seat because there is just no room. The, the workers are helping Dan load it all into the car and the trunk and stuff. But it is a nice set. It's really exciting. And we were planning on going to the thrift store and doing some thrift shopping. And I don't know if that's gonna happen now because there is no room in the vehicle. And I really don't wanna leave all of this in the vehicle while we go into a thrift store. So we may just be heading home, which is okay because we just spent a lot of money on instruments. We got it all in. There are the actual drums, a few cymbals. That's my guitar that I already had. There's the guitar we bought. There's more cymbals and then all of the hardware on the couch. The animals are having fun smelling it. Lambo's very happy we're home because we ended up feeding him about two hours later than he usually gets his like quote unquote lunch. Yeah, he was uh, very excited to eat food. So we moved, we had our glider right here. We moved that upstairs. So we're, Dan's going to try to set up some of the drum set in this corner here. Update, this is now the new state of our living room, which is pretty fine. I'm not mad about it. You mad about it? No, 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 no. So now what that means is we probably have to start hanging some instruments on the wall. We have all of the fixings for some like loaded burgers. Dan is calling them cowboy burgers. We have roasted broccoli, roasted potatoes that we are using some uh, bacon grease we had set aside. We used for those. We have the cheese, tomato, other toppings, bacon, barbecue sauce, pickles, mayonnaise, French fried onions to put on top, which is kind of what makes them like the French fried onions and the barbecue sauce is kind of what makes them like cowboy burgers. And then we have the burgers finishing. We're actually doing some like beef burgers and these are turkey burgers. So that'll be exciting. Milo said, oh, I'm not a cat, I'm a dog. That is replied. Milo tried to figure this out and said, all, all right, a dog, I understand, but um, really deep down inside we're all cats, right? Uh, no, that is not, no. Deep down inside, I'm a dog. Do you think you can follow me back to the shore? I, I, I think so, Milo said. All right, be careful. 